she dreams of green Red roses new I see them blue For me and you And I think to myself sustainability. As we can see, every time people need to use energy to stay alive, they need energy to support their daily life. That's why the energy should be sustainability. Sustainability means meeting our own needs without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own. Need in addition to natural resources, we also need social and economic resources. The reason why I chose the topic is the U.S. makes up only 5% of the world population but it throws away enough plastic bottles in a week to encircle the earth five times. Plastic takes 100 or even a thousand years to decompose. We need to support our government by saving energy, finish meal, use reusable bag, Go paperless and use renewable energy. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my exhibition, Depletion of Fossil Fuels. The 1760 Industrial Revolution saw a large scale of oil and mineral exploitation. Practice has been gradually growing and leading to more and more natural oil and mineral depletion. And together with the advancements in technology development and research, Exploration of minerals has become easier and humans are digging deeper to access different one. So, uh, fossil fuels are very important for us and our future generation. So, we as well as we need to take them with good care and use them wisely before they get unfortunately available in our future generation. Fossil fuels deplete the usage of people on the entire planet. So it's not only you and me who have to take action in this. Everyone should work on this concept so that we can see changes happening. This is my model. Here's my poster and you can take a short look of my brochure. Thank you. My name is Tony Sarkmato. My exhibition topic is better than both, only not better. With almost an um, airfield of all packed, my receiving it. So much yours into our thing is back, comfortable us when we are safe or upset. Here for us no matter what. We are the benefit of having a fully friend. Few of them are there. Packs keep you fit. At the patch will be forcing you us to move out of making you fur yes. A dog or cat is the best pet to you, make you happy. Pets make you show your level of you. Cats and dogs make a good company. They will be always waiting for you to come home. They lower your stress levels. Modern life is really full and high and level of Anxiety and and lead to health problems. Having a furry that can decrease the chance of suffering. They can help you make friends. Having a pet is a great way to meet new people and create bonds quickly. Pets can teach about responsibility children to protect skills required to own a pet, such as. Me and women, they would be looking 
their maturity and impact skills. They make you feel safe. A cat and dog make you feel safe. A lot of safety. Cats provide companies to children with learning difficulty. Children with learning problems become friendly to their pets and help them make great friends. Thank you. What if you hit the hay and famish without any food in your huge belly? A very good morning to all the audience and thank you for lending me uh, some time out of your already hectic schedule. Uh, so, why don't we get this ball rolling? Today, I won't be talking about how tasty food is, nor I'll be, uh, I will be talking about how much I hate veggies. I, but I will orate to you a much hidden pr problem in this world. Food scarcity. Ever heard of it? So, what is food scar scarcity? Food scarcity is a lack of consistency in a food for a, a healthy lifestyle. In other words, there are millions of people all over the world who suffer from a shortage of food and cannot tell if they will be able to feed themselves the next day or at the end of the day. This is the basis of food scarcity. There are many causes of food scarcity, such as poverty, food shortages, poor infrastructure, increase in violence, and many more. Uh, along with many causes of food scarcity, there comes many solutions, such as reducing food waste, uh, giving to charity, investment in local uh, local food, and um, many, many more. How many ever solutions there are? The problems certainly outnumber them. I was really fortunate. I could visit a orphanage in my neighborhood called Al Aksha. I saw there the kids I gave the food to were enli enlivened by the sight of food. Now I know. Eat food and live simply so others can simply live. Thank you. Good morning teachers. Good morning friends. My name is Angelica and I'm from 4C. Today I'm talking about benefit of education. Before I start, I would like to show you my motto. As you can see in my motto, it is an office school of university. A person for the city or country have education. What art is education? Education is both the act of teaching knowledge to others and the act of receiving knowledge from someone else. Here's the examples of benefit of education. Higher income. For a job, you get a high salary or payment for a good job or a position in a company. For this child marriage. By encourage children, children will reduce child marriage because by education, economic growth, country with the high literacy rate, citizens with higher per capita income, reduce gender-based violence in many areas. Gender-based violence affects two to girls, while to education now on the girls or women can have access to education. Socializing and network are personal benefits of education. Education provides students with the space and the opportunities. In my opinion, for everybody can have education by my action. One, financial support for the poor family. Two, encourage people awareness of the importance of education. Three, support poor children from difficult family condition. Number four, make more schools or access education for girls or women to end child marriage. Number five, improve the quality of teacher. Thank you for listening and have a nice day. Hello, my name is Prabhin Singha and today I'll be talking about animal products. Crocodile skin is used in the production of handbags and other luxurious items such as shoes, belts, wallets, 
upholstery and furniture. Elephants are killed for their horn, leather, hair, and dung. The horns are mostly used to make ivory. Lions are used for carpets, bones, fluffy clothes, and other fluffy things. Leopards are killed for their own fur to make clothes and carpets. Rhinos are killed for their horn uh, uh, to make medicine treatments, beads, bracelets, and necklaces. Pangolin scales are used for medicines, leather belts, and boots. Thank you and have a nice day. Hello everyone, my name is Nisha Tasnim. I'm from grade 4C. My exhibition topic is about melting glaciers. What does melting glaciers mean? Due to heat changes, especially to relatively high temperatures, glacier melting occurs where the ice changes from solid to liquid or water. Why melting glacier is a problem? Melting ice is bad news for several reasons. Melt water from the ice sheets and glaciers flow into the ocean, causing sea levels to rise. This can lead to flooding, habitat, destruction, and other problems. Ice reflect the sun's energy better than land or water. What are the causes of, glacier, of melting glaciers? Causes of melting ice glaciers. Burning of fossil fuel oil and gas drilling, deforestation, ice breaking ships, shortage of electricity, extreme flooding. How can we prevent a glacier from melting? Using electricity and water wisely to wasp from energy produced by fossil fuels to clean energy sources such as wind or, and solar energy. Driving less and walking more and talking, taking the public transportation system or replacing combustion energies with high, hybrid energy. Here's my poster. Thank you. My name is Calithia from 4C, and today I'll be talking about the effects of war. War is very harmful for all of us. Some of the biggest effects that we can see are broken infrastructures, death, and injuries. But other than that, there are also many ways it can affect us in longer terms, such as affecting society, affecting mental health, effect on education, and effect on economics. World War I and World War II are two of the most popular wars in the whole entire world. World War I, which started in 1914 and ended in 1918, took place in Europe. It affected Germany and France the most. While men were at war, women had to do the jobs and responsibilities of what men did. While troops were going all over the world, influenza took place pretty easily with the help of epidemics. 25 million people died throughout the world during this time. World War I also brought a lot of bitterness throughout the countries. World War II, on the other hand, started at 1939 and ended at 1945. At the end of the war, millions of people died and millions more were homeless. The European economy had collapsed and the European industrial infrastructures had been destroyed. 
Many young children had to witness bombs and battles throughout their life because it happened where they lived. So, as my conclusion, war is the outcome of the primitive part of the mind. Unless this is transcended, war, conflict, and violence will continue. Younger generations are the top priority to bring a brighter future. I quote, Mankind must put an end to war before war puts an end to mankind. By John F. Kennedy. Thank you. Hello everyone. My exhibition topic is acid rain. Let's talk about what acid rain is. Acid rain, form of precipitation which is usually acidic. Acid that falls to the ground from the atmosphere in wet or dry forms. Well, now you all might be thinking, what causes acid rain? Well, acid rain is caused by a chemical reaction that is released into the atmosphere. These substances can rise very high to the atmosphere where they mix and react with water. Human activities are the main cause of acid rain. Scientists are not the only one to stop acid rain. You can become a part of the solution too. Just understand the problem and take action. Thank you. Hi, I'm Inesh and today I will be talking about migration. What is migration? Migration is the movement of people from one place to another with the intentions of setting permanently or temporarily at a new location. Why do people migrate? People migrate for many different reasons. 1. Social migration, moving somewhere better quality of life or to be closer to family or friends. 2. Political migration, moving to escape political persecution or war. 3. Environmental migration, include natural disasters such as flooding, etc. They also migrate because of crop failure, drought, poverty, lack of services, etc. Migration usually happens as a combination of these pull and push factors. Better environment, better services, more fertile land. Push factors, crime, war, drought, racism, and poverty. What are the positive and negative thoughts of migration? Positive. Reduce labor shortages. Migrants are prepared to take on low paid, low skilled jobs. Better standard living in property. Money sent home by migrants. Negative. Overcrowding. Disagreement between religion and culture. Racism. Increasing cost of services such as healthcare and education. Brain drain if many skilled workers leave. What are the solutions for migration? Stop wars and conflict. Increase average wealth levels in poor countries. Improve education opportunities. Increase social security and health insurance. Fight extreme poverty. Reduce waste production. Fight global warming. Increase overall conditions for people in poor areas. My opinion on migration. Migration is good for the economy as if people need migration in case their country has a political issue or environmental issue. Migration is a want if people are safe and happy in their country. Then they don't need migration. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am Jeremy Wesley from Grade 4C. Today I'm going to be talking about lack of education. Why is education so important? This is because education imparts skills and knowledge associated with higher wages. Education positively impacts other areas of poverty such as shelter, water, and promotes better utilization of healthcare facilities. The causes of lack of education? Factors linked to poverty, such as unemployment, sickness, and the literacy of parents multiply the risk of non-schooling of a child by two. Effects of lack of education? People who 
lack education, have trouble getting ahead in life, have worse health, and are poorer than the well-educated. Solutions for lack of education? Raise awareness on the importance of education. A more tolerance regarding education. Improvements in health insurance. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Watson and today I'm going to talk about radioactive waste. Radioactive waste is a hazardous type of waste that contains radioactive material. It is a result of many activities including nuclear medicine, nuclear research, and nuclear power generation, etc. There are five types of radioactive waste, high level, intermediate level, mining and milling, and transuranic waste. The storage and disposal of radioactive waste is regulated by government agencies in order to protect human health and the environment. We have to ensure minimization of radioactive waste and prevent pollution. Thank you. Good morning everyone. Today I am going to present my exhibition topic which is organic farming. What is organic farming? The term organic describes thing that are, things that are natural or things that are associated with nature. It describes that the food hasn't been adulterated with any artificial pesticides or fertilizers. Organic crops should be pure and not grown with any artificial ingredients. As we know, day by day, our population is increasing exponentially. To satisfy this huge need of food, harmful agricultural practices are being adopted and there is an increase in production and use. Organic farming is a technique in which the cultivation of land takes place with natural resources like air, water and soil. Man-made man fertilizers and pesticides are used to improve the fertility of the soil. It means that the chemicals are directly going inside the soil but not inside the food we eat. Organic farming is a viable alternative for harmful agricultural harmful traditional agricultural practices. This includes deforestation, water pollution and soil pollution. Therefore, Therefore, governments and international communities should support farmers financially to propagate organic farming that will save our agroecosystem and biodiversity. Oh, organic farming is also a way is also considered a way to reduce to reduce air pollution, conserve water, reduce soil erosion, and reduce the usage of chemicals and artificial ingredients in, in the food we eat. Man, man you. There are many types of organic materials found in abundance in our country. It, it takes a, just a proper training program to execute it. Many types of organic manures are used by farmers. Some of them are mentioned here. Dung manure. Every farmer in India does farming as well as animal husbandry. husbandry. If, he, if the farmer uses all of his available agricultural residues and ca cattle dung, he can prepare himself high quality, high quality manure. Vermicompost or earthworm manure. In this method, earthworms convert dung and other residues into an organic, one of the best organic fertilizers out there in a short period of time. Green manure. Organic farming with, with mixed pulses, crops like daicha, daicha, flaxseed, guar, pada, guar, etc in its initial rainy season and in its raw state and after plowing in the field for 50 to 60 days in this way green manure will help in nitrogen fixation improving soil 
soil fertility and soil structure, reducing soil erosion and water retention capacity. Biofertilizers. Biofertilizers are made by mixing the cells of microorganisms in a carrier. Rhizobium biofertilizer is the most commonly commonly used biofertilizer. In it, the bacteria in it make lumps in the roots of beans and live in the soil to stabilize atmospheric nitrogen and gives it to the and provides it to the crop. Therefore, it is very important to train the farmers about production of resources, the proper use of them, and some organic farming management techniques. Some other reasons to train the farmers are to bring stability in agricultural production, the organic quality of soil can be maintained, save natural resources in, to prevent environmental pollution, Production costs can be reduced and human health can be protected. Thank you for listening. Bye. And this is my brochure. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sky from Class 4C, and I will be presenting my exhibition with the topic of overfishing. Overfishing is the cause of many near extinctions of different species of fish, such as the Murray cod, Chinese paddlefish, and king salmon, and there's also many, many more. The problem of overfishing is that actually 80% of the oxygen that we breathe will disappear because that 80% comes from phytoplankton and fish from the ocean. Another problem of overfishing is that it disturbs the food chain in the ocean. For example, let's say level 5 is an apex predator and we've already caught them all until they went extinct. So then level 4 will be the next apex predator. So a level 4 will, consume, will prey on level 3, 2, and 1 until those levels will exist no more. But then level 4 will overpopulate and will soon die of hunger because there's no more fish left for them to prey on. The cause of overfishing is actually the fishing industry itself. The fishing industry sends out many boats each year with gigantic nets that can catch anything in the ocean. And when I mean everything, I mean everything from the surface of the ocean to the seafloor. They catch not only fish, but even sea turtles, dolphins, sharks, and even pieces of coral. This activity is called bycatch. There are a few solutions to overfishing, such as freshwater aqua farming. Freshwater aqua farming only needs a few fish and then they will breed the fish, which makes many more, and it doesn't harm any single fish in the ocean. Also, try to eat less fish. If, no, if less fish are eaten, the fishing industry might stop sending that many boats to do bycatch. Thank you for listening. Child labor can be defined as the use of children in industry or business. According to UNIFAT, roughly 160 million children were subjected to child to child labor at the beginning of 2020. There are some causes that make children work, such as poverty, access to free education, and is limited to and conflict or mass migration. Child labor can give bad effect to the children, like sickness or maturation and they lose the chance to have a better future as they don't go to school and low self-esteem. Child labor must be stopped. We can do some actions to help these children. We can help in sponsoring the education, support companies that don't include child labor, and companies can use technology instead of, of children. 
This is my 3D model about child labor. The model depicts some children are working in the factories and they live in poor and bad houses. Smoke from the factories and some toxic material can affect these children's health. The children's health. On the right side shows school and the poor children can attend this school for free so they can have a better future ahead. And in the front part, there are some there are some children are spreading awareness to stop child labor in the neighborhood. Thank you. Hi, my name is Shana Bobstein, and my exhibition is about natural cosmetics. Natural cosmetics are made from raw materials, such as plants. This is what we used. Rose water, coconut oil, pure shea butter, and jojoba oil. The best place lotion with all natural ingredients. Morning cream, homemade natural SPF face cream. Night cream is made from beeswax, coconut oil, almond oil, uh, one teaspoon of sugar butter, or you can just use more coconut oil. Vitamin E oil or virgin. This is all about my exhibition. Thank you for everything. Hope you have a nice day. Hello everyone, I am scientist Ayhan from NASA. My topic for the exhibition is threats to Earth from asteroids. Now let us have a deeper look on this model. As you can see, this is a model of a solar system with the sun, asteroid planets, etc. Now what would happen if an asteroid hits the Earth or any other planet? Now let's take Bennu for example. And what if Bennu hits the Earth? If Bennu hits the Earth, it can wipe out an entire continent. Now that's amazing, right? For example, if Bennu hits Asia, it can wipe out Asia and set a dust and rock layer above Earth and block the sun for ages. Now what would happen if an asteroid really hit the Earth? Now let's have a demonstration on that. This is the crust and this is an asteroid. Now let's see. Three, two, one. Impact! Now, as you can see, this ball has created two large craters. Craters are formed when asteroids hit the Earth at very high speeds. Now, let us see the solutions to asteroid impacts. The first solution of asteroid impacts can be of sending a satellite towards an asteroid, which it would ram it and send it off course. Some examples can be DART, which NASA will be planning to send in 2024. Now, what the second solution is to nuke an asteroid with a warhead. We can nuke an asteroid with a very powerful bomb, pow very powerful than the Tissa bomba, and it would shatter the asteroid into small meteorites, which wouldn't cause any harm to us. Now, how do scientists detect asteroids? They detect asteroids using the very strong telescopes by looking into them. Now, technology has helped us a lot and, and scientists have been able to save Mother Earth because of technology. Thank you. Good morning. I am Manaka from GMIS 4C. My exhibition topic for today is peer pressure. The ABC of peer pressure. Before we start, I would like to say a phrase from my Guru Satya Sai Baba. Tell me your company and I will tell you who you are from Satya Sai Baba. What is peer pressure? Peer pressure is the direct or indirect influence on people of peers, members, of social groups with similar interests, experiences. Members of peer group are more or more likely to influence a person's beliefs and behavior. Effect and impact of peer pressure. Positive peer pressure is when someone's peer encourage them to do something positive or push them to grow 
a beneficial way. Negative peer pressure involves pres preserve to do something dangerous or de damaging to themselves or others. What are the types of peer pressure? Active peer pressure is when an individual or a group persuade you directly to be in a specific behavior. Example, people that, di that directly connect to you on a daily basis, such as friends and family, can be individual as active peer pressure. Passive peer pressure is when an individual is exposed to one or more than one individual actions and has a choice whether, whether they want to follow along. Example, social media influencer that you like is one of the examples of passive peer pressure since you do not connect with them every day. This is my brochure of peer pressure. My prop that shows several examples of where peer pressure can take place. WhatsApp, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. So always be careful when you indulge yourself on these different social media platforms. Thank you and remember to be safe. Good morning, respected principal, sir, supervisor, coordinator, teachers, parents, and my dear friends. Today, my exhibition is about effects of infrastructure towards the environment. The current climate change warming trend is extremely likely to be the result of human activity since the mid-20th century. Construction of infrastructure is one of the primary reasons that negatively impacts biodiversity. Environmental concerns are not considered during the design planning and construction of infrastructures. Roads and railways are necessary to move people and goods across distances, but hold long-lasting effects on the landscapes they cut through. If this project cannot be avoided, finding a solution that is economically, socially, and environmentally friendly is crucial. It is vital for us as people that plants, animals, and other organisms live and thrive as they provide us with ecosystem services. These are the nature's products which we often take for granted. Green infrastructure is a long-term process that can help us achieve environmental and sustainability goals. This model showcases harmful effect, harmful effect that will happen if we do over construction. Forest fire, flood, drought, and earthquake. This is my brochure. exhibition. Hope you liked it and please take some steps for green infrastructure to save the earth. Thank you. Good morning everyone. The topic I have chosen for my exhibition is water scarcity. What is water scarcity? Water scarcity is the lack of fresh water resources to meet the standard water demand. 
Water scarcity can mean scarcity in availability due to physical shortage or scarcity in access due to the failure of institutions to ensure a regular supply of water. It can also be due to a lack of adequate infrastructure. What causes water scarcity? Water shortages may be caused by climate change, such as altered weather patterns, including droughts or floods, increased pollution, or increased human demand and overuse of water. What are the effects of water scarcity? Water run dry and people can't get enough to drink, wash, or feed crops, and an economic decline may occur. In addition, inadequate sanitation can lead to deadly diarrheal diseases, such as chol cholera, typhoid fever, and other waterborne illnesses. Which places are most affected by water scarcity? Places like Qatar, India, Libya, West Sahara, Oman, etc. are highly affected by water scarcity. How can we stop water scarcity? Well, there are many ways to stop water scarcity. Some of them are developing water filtration systems, promoting water stewardship, protecting wetlands, storing clean water, and then filtering it. Here is my model. Thank you. Good afternoon, teachers and friends. My name is Denzel. I am Forum 4C. The effects of oil spills. In an oil spill event, many things are affected, like animals, plants, humans, and the ocean. Today, I would like to talk about the effects of oil spills and how to, to handle them. Let's start with animals. Many animals' lives will be lost because of the harmful chemicals that oil has. Not only that for some animals, the oils can actually disable certain body functions. For example, sea otters fur if coated by the oil will lose its insulting properties, which can cause death by hypothermia. Next is plants. Plants are also affected by oil of the same toxic compounds. Seaweed, mango, and many sea plants are easily affected by the oil. Even if it doesn't uh, kill the plants, it will uh, it also affect the plant's growth. The the ocean. The ocean will also be affected as a habitat, a place where many species live in, can be destroyed with one small oil spill. The part of an ocean that is covered in oil will lose many of its inhabitants even if the oil is taken care of. It will take many of years for it to go back to how it used to be. Humans. Humans are, are also majorly affected by the oil spill. First, because of the animals and plants being killed or leaving the oil spill. Humans will be affected economically due to the loss of resources. In one case, where a major oil spill happened in Australia, millions of dollars was lost because of the failed crops of seaweed farmers in Indonesia. 
Now I will show you what an oil spill is. This aquarium represents the ocean. In the ocean, there are many species that reside, and there are and there is cooking oil on it. As you can see, the oil remains on the surface of the sea, which blocks the sunlight, and anything that it touches the oil will be coated in it, leaving it to die. Now, I will handle it. Usually, the government uses these boats. Oops. Uses these boats. These boats and sticks, boys, show them so the oil can be con uh, con uh, concentrated. Now, you can usually burn it down. Burn it down. Pour chemicals from the sky to break the oil down. Or skim it using a machine. It really depends on the situation of the ocean, like its temperature, the waves, and many other things. Since this is just a replica, I will just I'll clean it up using coffee. Everyone, today I'm going to talk about shark finning. Shark finning is the process of slicing off and removing fins from sharks and discarding the rest of the shark back into the ocean. When sharks get thrown back into the ocean after being finned, they die in trauma because of difficulty in breathing, blood loss, or predation. Sharks are the highest predators and play a vital role in maintaining marine ecosystems. Without them, marine animals and habitats would suffer. Shark finning is inhuman and unsustainable. Sharks play a critical role in the ocean ecosystem health. They hunt weaker fishes and quickly call the mutated and ill fish before the entire fisheries get affected. Today, shark population have decreased by 60 to 70 percent. The fins are used in China and Hong Kong and by Chinese communities elsewhere in the world, as it is the key ingredient to shark fin soup. In fact, a bowl of soup can cost $100. In fact, Consuming too much shark fins is dangerous because the cartilage is high in mercury which can lead to many diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson. Furthermore, overfishing and shark finning may lead to climate change. Solutions Get a message on social media to about shark finning. Most people will volunteer. Number two. Educate the people about the danger about shark finning. Number three, ban any business which supports or serves shark fin products. Stop shark finning. Thank you. What a wonderful world. I see skies of blue.